Hey there, Tim Bowery from LiveVideoGuitarLessons.com with the practice tip of the day. This one is for the beginning player. Today I want to just introduce you to uh, how to read guitar tablature. It's, it's, it's a very, very simple system um, of, of um, reading notes for guitar. It just takes a, a few minutes to learn how to do it. Um, the main reason to do it is that, or to know how to do it, is that um, most any song you can think of, somebody has uploaded to the internet. It's really easy to write tabs out like in, in, on, on a computer. Um, and I don't, I don't want you to use this as a, um, a substitute for learning standard music notation, but just to be able to access all those songs, and it's very, very simple anyway. So while you're studying how to read standard music notation, just know that the, you know, the tab is um, a kind of a, you know, a quick reference guide so you can get all the billions of songs that are on the internet um, written out that way. And we'll throw out a disclaimer. Um, keep in mind that the internet is a great source of collective knowledge. Um, some of the tabs on the internet, and by the way, tabs is short for tablature, um, uh, but a lot of the tabs out there, you know, some of them are pretty good, uh, some of them are really good, and some of them are just not even close. And, and that itself is a good exercise um, for you as, as the player, because you'll hear a note that, that you don't think sounds right. If you, think you, if you run across something that somebody's written in a tab that doesn't sound right, it's probably wrong. So that's a good, you know, uh, uh, a good exercise for your ear. Um, a lot of the tabs um, on the internet, they, they appear, I don't know this, but they, they appear to be um, cut and pasted from one site to the next. Because that, 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 they'll have the same glaring mistake in, in, you know, the tabs on a couple of sites. Um, so, but if you look at the tabs, like say you're, you, you think there's something wrong with one, um, if, if you look at, you know, five or six tab sites, you know, you can kind of, pick the one that sounds the best or kind of use a, a mixture of, of, of what you see out there. So anyway, so let's just jump in. I'm going to set this down for a second. <clears throat> like I said, tab is, is very simple to learn how to read tabs. And by the way, over at the website, www.livevideoguitarlessons.com, um, I have um, under the study aids tab, I have a, I think I called it um, a guitar tablature basics. And um, it, it's this page and another page. So I'm going to hold this up. And sorry about going in and out of focus. I'm leaving the autofocus on so you can see this. And I'm just going to explain this real quick because this is very, very simple. I'm going to try to focus in on that right there. That, that's a tab. Don't let all that text scare you. It just kind of, um, uh, I'm, I'm kind of explaining it there. All right, so maybe you take a screenshot of that or go over to the website and print out the PDF file that this came from. Okay, so what we're doing, the main thing to remember about tab <clears throat> is... Um, Everybody I've ever met, every guitar player, it, it appears that tab is upside down. If you just remember that, then you're then you're in good shape. Um, I don't know who invented it. I don't know how long it's been around, but whoever uh, invented it seemed to uh, see the world in a different way than most guitar players do. But anyway, so what I mean by upside down, um, these let me get this where you can see it. These horizontal lines. They, they are uh, representative of your strings. And if you notice, I'm trying to point this from the back side here, this is your big string on the bottom, your, your, your fat E string. And, and usually the, 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 the string names are written out to the side of the tab like that. So, so that's, your, that's your sixth string, fifth string, fourth string, third string, second, first. And that's what I mean about upside down. A lot of times people um, look at that and they, they, they play it uh, backward because it, it when you're looking at your guitar it seems like that um, you know the big string should be on the top but you know as long as you, you know how to decode it and you're in good shape so anyway it's very like I said it's very simple those numbers they're just fret numbers and so I'm trying to get that where you can see it um, like the, the very first and you read it just like you know you just read it um, you know like you're reading a book you just read left to right um, so I'm trying to it's hard to negotiate this from the other side. So you just read it like as if something were running across like that. So if you have, we don't have any here, but if you had two numbers that are stacked on top of each other, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm trying to, everything's backward, okay. If you had two numbers that are stacked on top of each other, it means you'd play them at the same time. None of these are stacked on top of each other, so all these are individual notes. So that very first thing you do, you're playing the fifth fret on the, the low E string. And then you're going to play the 8th fret on the low E string. And you're going to move up to the 5th string and play the 5th fret and then the 7th fret. And you move to the 4th string and play the 5th fret and then the 7th fret. And what that is, 
Um, it's just the, it's, it's, I was just looking for, you know, something to put on the, on the page there. Um, and that's just your pentatonic scale, which you probably don't know yet because you're, you're, you know, you're just getting started on guitar. But this is something, that's something that you're going to need, you know, you're going to learn a lot about later. So what that, that fifth fret um, in the first, uh, on the sixth string was, it was here. So what that tab was telling me to do was to play this position one pentatonic scale. And that's, that's what was written on the page. So, um... Also, on my uh, um, kind of introduction to tablature, I had, let me see if I can find this here, I listed some common notations that, that go with tablature. And these, these are some of the signs that you see on tab. I'm going to hold that still, take a screenshot of that if you'd like. I know it's going in and out of focus. And so you'll, you'll see those markings on the tabs telling you to, you know, bend strings or slide or, you know, slide up, slide down, you know, release your bends or, you know, hammer-ons and pull-offs and all that kind of thing. And, and usually, um, if, if somebody takes the time to tab out something correctly or, you know, so they, they want you to know exactly what you're supposed to do with it, um, they'll, um, they'll put like a legend down at the bottom and it will, it will whatever, uh, whichever of those symbols they use anywhere in the tab, It'll, it'll tell you what, what that is. So anyway, back over here real quick. You know, there are a lot of alternate tunings for guitar. So that's one way, like if you're in drop D or something, um, instead of this one being an E, it would be a D, and then the rest of these would be the same. Or say you're tuned down a half step. All these would be like, you know, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, you know, B flat, E flat. And it, it's telling you the, the names of your open strings, and that gives you the tuning over there. All right, so anyway, like I said, it's, it's very simple. Once you've read... Uh, 10 or 12 notes of tab, you pretty much have it. I mean, it, it's, it's pretty simple. The one thing that, that tab does not give you, it does not give you any rhythm. And that's one of the reasons why I, I, I caution you not to use tab solely. It, it, it's very important, you know, for your education as a musician to learn how to read standard music notation. You know, a lot of people, you know, they kind of, I don't know, they're intimidated by it and they don't do it. Over on the website, um, you know, uh, I have a, a series of about four or five videos that kind of explain the basics of standard music notation. So, you know, watch those videos. But, like I said, I just want you to know the tab so you can, you can use that because there's a, a wealth of information on the internet and it's all written in tab and you need to know how to decode all that stuff. So, anyway, but just, like I said, don't, don't rely solely on that. that that's, that you're doing yourself a disservice if you, if you do that. And I've run across a lot of people who they just want to do everything by tab and um, you know they, 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 they get kind of stuck in their education you know they um, you know, they, they're, they're kind of stalled in their um, uh, music theory you know they, they it, uh, um, I, I guess I'm just I just want to caution you you know just make make sure that you you use that as a uh, it's kind of a uh, an extra thing you know okay so I know how to read standard music notation, but I know how to read tab too, so I can access all the stuff. That's the kind of attitude you want. So anyway, um, so uh, it's a little hot in here. So anyway, so um, hopefully that helps. Thanks for taking uh, uh, time to, to watch this video. Tune in again tomorrow for another practice tip, and I will see you next time. Thanks.